I will never forget the first, our first date and our first kiss. <clears throat> it was obvious that I was a nervous wreck. It'll be two years ago on February 9th that we made our relationship official. Nothing can make me happier than standing here in front of you today, in front of all of our family and friends, and a special shout out to our kids. Eric, I'm so excited to be marrying my best friend today in front of the people who mean the most to us in the world. I still remember admiring you from afar at self-checkout at Safeway and never would have imagined we would be here today. It was fate that brought us together when neither of us were looking for love. God saw our two broken hearts and knew that we needed each other. Our love and life story is different than most and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Your pure heart and the way that you love me unconditionally is all I've ever wanted in a partner. The love we share has filled my life in a way I had always dreamed of. I can't promise that there won't be tough times at all, but what I can promise you today and every other day of our lives is to always cherish you and respect you.
which you are now about to enter is the closest and most tender into which human beings can come. It is a union founded on mutual experience and affection and to believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. It is a union in the Lord. Marriage is God's institution intended for the happiness and welfare of humankind. The scripture further says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It also protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. These rings have no beginning and no end. They set forth the eternal nature of real love. They represent the love and trust that Eric and Tiffany promised to each other this day. Inasmuch as Eric and Tiffany have exchanged vows and rings, before God and the gathered witnesses, by virtue of the authority entrusted to me as a minister of Christ's church, and agreement with the laws of the state, I now pronounce them husband and wife. What God has joined together, let man not separate. This is right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Spiva. such a loving and honest, loyal partner. Same goes for Tiffany. You both deserve nothing but happiness and thank you for allowing me to be a part of your special day. And then I love you guys. You guys mean the world to me. I love you guys. Thank you, Eric, for loving my little girl. Thank you. Um, I'd like to say that, like, when the first time I met Tiffany, I knew that, like, she made my dad happy, and I saw that, and I knew that they both made each other happy, and I think that's what love is all about, is happiness you know the two of you will have a relationship that is an upward spiral and your love will grow more and more each day so that is my blessing to you I have spent the last I don't know how many years praying for the day that she would find someone <laughs> sorry <laughs> I'm sorry guys no you're good that would love her in the way that she loves other people. <laughs> Sorry. Someone who would not only accept her as she is, but love her because of who she is. Eric, you have brought peace to me and I know so many others because I know that you will show up for her in your marriage every day, even when you don't want to. Thank you for loving her the way that you do and thank you for being one of the good, the good ones. The best love is the one that awakens the soul and makes us reach for more, that plants a fire in our hearts and brings peace to our minds. 
I pray that you both never stop seeking to fall in love with each other and that you always remember how incredibly blessed you are to have found each other. Thank you.